All right, guys. So Ben knocked it out the park with this thing. Got it bolted in. Got the harnesses back in. Got the stop on the back all welded in. So this thing is solid and sturdy, and we're not going to be bouncing around anymore. Yeah. That seat goes anywhere. You got problems. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the seat goes somewhere i screwed up <laughs> right on well i think that's about it we'll probably fire it up load it on the trailer hook the trailer up to it load both of them on the trailer gotta make sure it fits huh yeah <laughs> all right now here's the, the test moment of truth Go on. so the parachute might be in the way of that clearancing action there. Oh, I'll do it. Oh, hold on. There, now it'll... Dude, what is going on with this? Oh, thing? no, it's like, it's right there. This thing was backwards. Yeah. Cut off all of our leverage now. Yeah. Pop it down. If we just had a little hammer, it'd go. Yeah. Whew. That's slick. Yeah. All right. So <clears throat> there was a piece in here wasn't latched all the way. So we just got that fixed. Now this latches and unlatches real easy. So I think we're ready to go ahead and whip this thing up onto the trailer. Whew, it's looking sweet. Easy it's gonna be a sick little setup. Oh yeah. Yeah, I think you're right about the fuel. Yeah, it's just I gonna have to go on the back. Yeah, I'll have no turning at all. And I would, I mean, the weight and stuff. Right here. Yeah, and the weight's not gonna be an issue because if you put your motor and stuff up front, yep. Because you just don't want this thing. Yeah, because I'm gonna down. put the toolbox, motor and tranny jack and jack stands and some stuff, and then fuel jugs can go on the back as like the tailgate. That went good. I'm happy with that. All right, guys, got it all loaded up on the big trailer here. Looks like this is all gonna work. Dude, he knocked it out of the park. Appreciate it, man. Saved my butt. <laughs> ben is my hero right now. This would not be possible without him getting this stuff done in the time frame that we needed. So, greatly appreciate yeah, it. Of course. So now I can get back to the last couple minor things I need to do and we can get this thing ready. So Brent and Shane, I know are on the road. I haven't heard from them in a while, but I'm probably gonna get on the phone with them and check and see how they're doing. And I'm gonna go get some shut eye and get to working on this hot rod so thanks cool, again man, man. Yeah, appreciate course. you let me know if you need something with the porsche with yeah. the k Definitely yeah I'll come check help out you. check out my channel too yeah bayside fabrication youtube yep. channel if you want to see what's going on with the 911 oh, k swap yeah. and all that jazz so oh, yeah. it's gonna be it's gonna be a hot rod yeah it's definitely sweet so go I'm check that out guys. this is gonna be a fun week for you i'm excited oh yeah can't wait to see this thing rolling down the road all loaded up oh yeah it's gonna look good yeah it'll be sweet so right on well, we're gonna go to the next part of our journey guys all right, we got the boys getting ready to load the cars. We just made it out here to Florida to Tavares shop where the cars are now going to get alignments. Tavares does some of the raddest alignments on the fastest cars. See if we can't get these hot rods driving straight. What do you think, Gordy? That's it, huh? What? All that talking in the truck nonstop and all I got is a thumbs up. That's all I can think of. <laughs> So why is getting this alignment so exciting? Oh, it's the same. Tavares? Yeah. Because he's the man? Yeah. Getting the best alignment. The best there is. The best. The best. <laughs> Gordo getting the wheels changed. Shane getting the plugs changed. So we've been having a little bit of trouble getting this thing to start up right. On the pump gas, methanol works just fine. But uh, we have to just solve this pump gas issue. We got the charger plugged in. Oh, perfect. Vegas is real back up. 
ya. He does everything with it. Like right now, he's been adjusting the height, getting it exact side to side. So he doesn't just do the alignment, he goes through the suspension too. A little bit to the right. There. Minimum, go to the left again. A little bit more. That means he need to, I need to put more, a little bit straight the tire. To then when the car increase, he go close to the center. I calculate like 1.2 negative. Look the numbers when the car go in yep. higher. Anyway, it's again. All right, look. Look at the numbers now when he does it. You see? That means plus the power, yeah. plus when the car moves, that means it's like 0.6, 3 and 3. I just got negative 0.2. Yeah. Okay. Because how it is right now, so he's still gonna he's gonna push it in a little bit to make it even when you do the power and it picks up. So we got Goofy Builds, a little hot rod on the rack now. You ready? Yeah. Yeah, it's cool. Oh, this is exciting. Yeah, it's exciting. The alternator is in the differential. They made a plaque to take the polea. Don't see that there. Yeah, there's no room in the engine bay, so. Yeah, when we drove it down the road, we noticed it was getting warm with the little ones, so we put another one in the back. From a banshee. From a banshee, yeah. <laughs> hey, it works, right? Yeah, so we said. It was laying around. Yeah, once the trailer goes on, it should just cool it right off, so. The extra little load. Uh, not while I was sitting in the car, because he was he was looking at my um, my camber, and he I saw the screen and I looked in on the old video and I was like, you know, down track I have to steer it right, and he's like, yeah, that makes sense. Now we should be good. Nice. Let's see how to whack this one is. Yeah. Well, I mean, this has new knuckles on the front, like all Everything. this rear stuff's new. new. Yeah, new knuckles. It has new upper control arms yeah. in the front. Well, the whole the whole rear trailing arm the setup's whole, new. Yeah. Oh yeah, all the rear trailing arms are new. DA knuckles up front, all the different yeah. upper control arms. It hasn't been aligned with any of this. Any of it's like a whole new all-wheel drive car. Yeah. On yeah. the alignment aspect. Woo! Sick. Shane, what do you run the tires at? We just hang on a little longer. What do you mean? He ran them at 15 last time he was It's already on. 15 front and back. But I, I had the stock axles <laughs> up front then, so I mean, it was five. No. We, we want to put a slipper valve in there, but we haven't. Right now, it's his, it's his little leg. Yeah. I use my foot. Slippers. See, I use my foot instead of my leg because the fast motor skill in my leg is Why are your crocs in four-wheel drive? You got to use your because. foot. Because. Does it look like uh, I'm doing anything harsh right now? Oh man, Goofy's getting aligned. You're already aligned. We are just about ready for sick week. Yep. It is coming up quick. And then we got to go for like a 40 minute trip down the road <laughs> to go pick up some spare parts of mine from yep. Mitchell. So these guys haven't got to go to Enemy yet. Yep. See Mitchell's shop. So. Spare battery and stuff too. What's that? Spare battery and stuff. No, no, that's it. Our oh, shop. Like shop. That's at our shop. Yeah.
I should have thought about it last night because me and Gordo went there last night. Gordo. But it. we still gotta like empty out my truck and get some shirts and stuff. So we'll be back over there a couple times. Yeah, right on. And now that we got yours starting much better and figured yeah. it out, we uh, we'll get some miles on it. Yes, yeah. sir. I mean that wouldn't be a bad drive with the cars either. No. Drive to the shop and back. It's what 35 minute drive? Yeah. A little traffic, a little not traffic. Yep. You know. We learn a lot. Oh yeah. <laughs> picture of where it started on it. Gordo, what, what are you trying to hit me with? This stick. I don't know what it's for. Jeez. <laughs> this kid. He's violent. He now. is. Yeah. I am Gordo. <laughs> you won't like me when I'm angry. <laughs> We've been talking some crap to him. <laughs> Yeah. Careful, you're gonna hit yourself in the head. No. What is it? What is I'm a it? master. You are. You're, you're Gordo, good with a bow staff. Look out. Look out. Gordo, look out. <laughs> See? See? It's not a bow staff. A staff and a bow are the same thing. Next time you're in his way, he's looks like saying staff staff. staff. <laughs> Yes. All right. Yeah. Go to the left. Easy, easy. Go slow. It's up. You're going to see the X in the middle. So you have to drive. Yeah. A little bit more. Too much. To the right. To Slowly. Keep going. Okay, put it straight. It's too out. Then we go, put the, the numbers a little bit close, then I do the cast. It's very out. Yeah. So, uh, looks like that, that new upper arm will hit the frame thing, so they're gonna have to bang it up or bend it. Or... Yeah, I know what it is. Yeah. Huh? I know what it is. Okay. So yeah, they're gonna have to modify it so it doesn't hit. Yeah, it just like bumps it. It goes up past it. But... Yeah, but they're gonna make it to where it can move, because otherwise that would mess with you, you know? Mm. And they need to come out more. Mm. So this is where the magic's happening? Yeah. Trying to get some of that bend out of it. So basically what's going on here guys, this is a DA knuckle for his 5.9 axles. So this has a lot more bend. So basically they're having a hard time with the adjustment so they got to get that straightened out a little bit. Alright, we got the front end back together. Yep. Yeah. They checked it on this one with the, uh, what's that, bubble level? So it should work. They got what, two degrees yeah. more? So cool. they just put it all back together. Hopefully it's got enough adjustment now. So they still gotta put their put their things back on. Yep. Reset the machine. Yeah. Reset the machine. Yep. Yep. Ready to go. Wait. So we got Tavares alignments now. Yep. Hard. The whole thing. Yeah. Rebend the knuckles, get them all straightened up. They kill well. your whole car was like new too. Yeah. Yeah. It was. But yeah, they were just going for this. Glad they I didn't. didn't try and take it up the road to the brakes close with that one. <laughs> you did already drive it around. Yeah, 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 I did. But that I mean, was way off. Yeah, it was way off. I knew it was. Yeah. I did drive it around. And yours is good. Mine's so. good. Mine the front was pretty close except for the um camber. 
Yeah. We do need to put track bars so he can adjust the camber the way the he caster. wants. Or the caster the way yep. he wants. Sorry. So, track bars for the caster, but the back, we want to lower the whole car after sick week. Yeah. Then do it right. This is just kind of a temporary get it through this. Awesome. And they, did he give you any instructions after, or you're just good? I think I'm just good. I think this is just good. Yeah. This is just good. This is solid. Oh, man. Ready for some one three. three. I don't know about me, but that's what he said. Well, we'll, we'll see. see. Yeah. This is going to be awesome. So we're going to head back to Kyle's house now. And, uh, oh, we're in the enemy. Oh, we're going to head to enemy now and uh, pick up some other parts and uh, stay on our little trek and getting all this stuff all figured out. Keep prepping for six weeks. Keep prepping for six week. Yeah. <laughs> Keep prepping for sick week because things are coming up fast. I mean, it's already Tuesday. Yeah. Holy crap. The drive, you know, from town to town is cool, but the one coming back all the way, one shot. And it's down 75. Yeah, well, I'm see. Sí, we're down 75. Por la 75 no es, tú lo ves lejos, pero por allá está cerca de... So it's like a poker run, like you have a route you have to go. So like we leave Bradenton and we come the back way, we come right up here one exit away, over to Orlando. What suspension you got? I've got the CX stuff, and FCS arms on the rear. <laughs> uh, 12K, 18K? Oh man, that's gonna buy. But no, it? no, we got we got a toolbox in the trailer. We got a spare motor and tranny. Right. We got some weight, kind of hold it down a little. With bit. the FCS trailer, yeah, bro. You gonna test those out for sure. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so you try. your car, your and car, and then Kyle's hatch, Kyle's VK hatch. Oh, the, okay. the car the push the brake. The four brake or, or yeah, but front? I can I can adjust the proportioning valve so it's to the front. Look. No, he's asking if you... No, when I push the pedal, it does all, all four. four yeah, but I can adjust the proportioning valve so it does the front. You done? That's the pad that's on there? Yeah. <laughs> that's the rear brake. Yeah, this is my rear brake. <laughs> oh, hey, no one said it was easy, but that's part of the fun. That's just going to be fun, bro. And if we can do an eight-second average, Oof. it'd be awesome. If we don't, then we'll shoot for that again, so, you know? Yeah. We'll destroy the car because we'll they say know, Hondas can't do it, so we have to show them first. Hondas to do it. Well, so I did it in the Integra last year on race week, but it was like a 10 2 average, okay? You know, like that's a street car, right? It makes like 650, 660. That's like, normal. That was a street car, that's normal. normal. <laughs> yeah, the eight second car is not normal on the street, exactly. So, you guys are the first eight second cars on the street. Yeah. That's going to be crazy, bro. Yeah. If we get an eight second average, that'd be sick. Then we get them reliable enough to go shoot for a seven second average. What do you day. What do you win when <laughs> you do it? If you There's do some good money in it. Yeah. There's, so there, <clears throat> me and Shane have the opportunity yeah. of winning two prizes in our class. Cause there's the winner in second place, but then there's also another prize for the fastest non V8 in our class. There's two categories. Yeah. So like if we have the fastest non V8 pass, cause there's like us with four cylinders and then there's one guy with the rotary. Mm. So it's like whatever one of us gets the fastest pass wins that too. Yeah. You got a pillow? No, I got the padded kirky, bro. For your back. <laughs> it's got a kirky in it now. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's got a steering wheel in it now. Me too. <laughs> yeah, it's it's got Lexan in the front now. <laughs> We gotta try. Oh yeah. Maybe a little bit. Oh yeah, the Island Civic. Jonathan OTP.
Goofy Bill. All right, guys, we've had one heck of a day. We got Goofy's car done. We went for a good drive in it. I was pretty stoked about that. And uh, yeah, I took him to the gas station a couple times. And then Jamie, he's down on his maiden voyage test drive right now. He's just getting back. I'm telling you guys, this is gonna be epic. Look at this. That is awesome. That is an eight second Civic pulling a trailer. <laughs> All right. Well, that's gonna do it for today. We got the alignments done, we got a ton done. Uh, we're keep pushing for sick week. Um, yeah, so we're gonna get ready. For, we're gonna keep pushing for sick week and uh, just have a great time. Everybody here is ready to go. What happened? Where's the catch can hose at? It got pushed inside the trunk. Oh no, how to get pushed inside? Oh my gosh. <laughs> What are you doing? <laughs> That's crazy. So, it did get a little warmer than I wanted, but I think we just kind of burped it. How, what's warmer than you wanted? 223. Yeah, that's warmer than yeah. we wanted. But when I like stopped at a stop sign, it came down. You know, like it like went up and down real quick. Like it was like air pocket. Okay. Well, well, I'll check it. Yeah. This is awesome. You should see it coming in. It's pretty exciting. This is yeah. awesome. It cruised real good. There's right at cruising area, it's kind of rich. Like, I just need to put the laptop on it. Yeah. They're all on pump gas. That's awesome. Yeah. Shane's, we had to take his fuel pressure from 73 down to 38. Yep. Crazy. Put her back up to 73 for ripping, too. Yep, that's it. You need to make a list. But, guys, that's going to do it for this episode. We've had a long day, and uh, I think we're ready to crash. I think they're all ready, just about ready for slick, just about ready for sick week. And uh, yeah, we should probably have it like that, Jim. I was wondering what that hole was for, honestly. Yeah, it's my zip ties. The zip ties are a little bit bigger. Well, the, the hole in the truck, I saw yeah. it was nothing in it. I was like, this is It's just thing. venting inside the car. I thought it was like an old kill switch or something. Dang. All right, well, that's cool. And that's cool. Feel that up for a hose. Let's see what you think. No pressure. All right. Well, that's going to do it. All right. We'll see you guys all tomorrow.